I don't want to be too negative in this video because I want people to watch it. But the new Elite series, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm going to go through why. Hate the quality of the card. The die cut, the colorways, they feel so cheap. We got some hits. I bought two of these, like $300 retail, because I kind of wanted to see what the product was about. Um, there are some good hits you can get in there, right? But um, you're, you guys are going to see what I mean uh, when we start ripping into these. Uh, actually, I've already done the rips. But when I reveal what we got, I think it's going to turn a lot of people off to the product. Maybe, maybe you love it, maybe you don't. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go base. We're going to go your orange base. Then we're going to go into the inserts. Then we're going to go into the rookie cards. Then we're going to go into the signatures. Um, and then I'm going to show you my top four pulls of these two hobby boxes. Um, and I'm, I want to know what you guys think, right? Honest opinion. So let's start with, I'm not going to go through every base card, um, but I just want you guys to see what I mean now. Okay. They've got the nice little rainbow sheen to them, right? Um, but the card quality itself, honestly, it just feels like something out of the back of like a, a cereal box. And there's no variations whatsoever, right? It's all just silver. It's nothing but silver unless you pull like a base or a numbered card. Like there's no crowd, there's no like interaction, slam dunks or anything like that, right? Um, I don't know, man. Like I started opening these and I'm like, eh, I don't know if I like them. I mean, we pulled some good players, right? The Don uh, Doncic, um, Ant Man, you know, uh, Tobias Harris, thirty nine point five million dollar man. I'm not sure he's that great. A um, few Doncic, uh, the Zinger, Sochan, Donovan Mitchell, right? Uh, Kelly, uh, we pulled a Maxi. Uh, none of these are rookie cards. I'll show you guys these later. Um, Kyrie, who, Scary Terry, right? So that's kind of the overall, like, base. These are your base cards. They look cool on camera under the right lighting, but I tell you what, if you pick one of these up, it's boring. It's just, it's a boring, like, it's a boring variation of them. Those were our bases. Now, the next step up here are the oranges, which is considered the base. They're non-numbered. These are a little bit cooler, right? They're kind of like the diamond pattern. We got a Mitchell. We got a <laughs> Evan Fournier. Whoa, balling out. Tyler Hero. We got a Pal Gasol. For some reason, they decided to put it on him. Um, a Maxi base, who's balling out, obviously, with Embiid injured, who I think is actually going to come back. Try to come back a few weeks before the playoffs. We'll see how they can do. Um, a Patrick Williams. And then the only numbered non-rook we got was a die cut, Jordan Poole. Um, and that is out of 37. I'm sorry, 87. Weird, weird number. 87. Not sure why they did that. But anyway, that's... Those are kind of the bases, right? Let's go to our base rookies. Um, no. Save the rookies to last. But you got the same crappy base, all silver uh, variant. So let's go into some of the inserts here. I didn't pull all the inserts, I only pulled two hobby boxes. Um, these are the spellbounds, which, to be honest, I, I thought were okay. Um, you know, you got, I, I got, well, like two LeBrons, two, uh, one Luca, and one uh, Curry. And then the the letter highlights the portion of their name right there's so many of these different cards i mean who the hell wants to collect these to try to get the entire lebron james letter set not me next one up was the elite decks and these are the kind of like in trend very mirrory uh, kind of cards we got an ad and we got a staff on these again these are non-numbered these are just inserts 
Again, with the glass ones, we get a clear path. We get a Trey Young here. I don't know the ratio on that one. I'll have to look that one up. But uh, we'll see. And then another glass one. We got Glass Masters. This time they're admitting that they like these uh, see through cards. And this is a Rudy. Uh, Rudy Gobert. You know, eh. Okay, get off the boards. That's about it. Then we get into these full, uh, full throttle ones. Um, again, these were non-numbered. We got a Greek Freak and a LeBron James. So these are just the base full throttle inserts. Um, miles per hour. Don't know what that means. They, I guess they run the same. Who knows, right? I, that's an okay insert. I'm not going to crap all over the product. That's an okay insert. Um, the next one were the Elite Series. We pulled three of these. Uh, so these are the standards. We got a JT Zero, what up Celtics? We got a Jimmy Buckets. Uh, and then we got a Don Church uh, base. Orange is base in the series, remember, and that's a die cut. Okay. Then we get into the Craftsman series. Again, this is non numbered. This is a purple. This is a die cut. Uh, Kyrie Irving, who. Oh my gosh, don't get me started on Kyrie being a Celtic fan. Um, you know, that one probably just goes straight into the trash. Let's go to our rookies. Then we'll go into our SIGs. And then we'll go into our top four. And then that's it. And I think that's a, a, a little overview, quick little overview of the product, right? I'm not going to buy them again, especially for 300 bucks a pot. I think there's way better variants out there. I always say in all my videos, Court Kings, that is where it's at, man. Don't forget about the giveaway, five sealed Court Kings boxes. You all got about another seven days to like and subscribe to my channel. And there will be drawing five um, lucky winners out there. I've pulled every Wemby variant. I've done 20 of these. I've pulled every Wemby, but the rookie version four. The only version four I've pulled is Amen Thompson. Anyway, enough about that. We're on to the elite. Okay, so here's the rookies we pulled. Base rookies. Again, this beautiful, um, you know, nothing going on in the background except a rainbow. We've got a Noah Clowney. We've got a Jordan Hawkins. Uh, we got a, uh, a Trace Jackson Davis. We've got a Cam Whitmore. Yeah, pretty cool. And then we get into the base. Uh, base oranges. Hunter Tyson. Um, we got a Bilal. And then we'll get into the numbers here. We got a Chris Murray. And that is numbered through 75. So again, nothing to scream about there. We got Nick Smith Jr. That's numbered 1 through 49. Um, and then these are our rookie craftsmen. Again, all purple, uh, except for this one, which was a die cut, which again, is it super rare? It's a Jalen Hochefino, Bilal, and then uh, Grady Dick. By the way, if you guys want to see something hilarious, I will just Google the greatest jersey, um, jersey swap of all time. Uh, <laughs> and you'll see what I mean. Grady Dick's involved. There's another player involved. And let's just say it spells something that is hilarious. Okay, cool. Those are our rooks. At least our, um, you know, the non... The non-numbered uh, rooks, but nothing, nothing crazy there. Okay, so signatures two we pulled two signature we pulled three signatures buying two autographs per box on average we got three yeah you know uh, sometimes that happens first signature we pulled complete trash turn of the century mike miller and i like the dude you know, don't get me wrong with it. it's not like i'm over the moon on that one um and then we did get a rookie oh no sorry uh a colby jones signature um, there as well okay so here were in my opinion the top five pulls that we got okay start with the craftsman we got shout out to university of alabama we got the brandon miller rookie card we got a boy scooty over here who doesn't sign <laughs> doesn't sign at least in the donruss or the panini lineup at least isn't that like a hilarious card I got the Amen Thompson next day order, um, which had a really good signature on. But the fact that they just put like no autograph on there, I just think it devalues the card completely. Anyway, Brandon Miller, um, and then we got 
uh, the Scooty. So at least, you know, we got a Scoot Henderson. Um, quick brag. How about this one, yo? Luck of the Lottery, Scoot Henderson Gold. One through ten, baby. Fire. Sitting next to, by the way, the snake skin Victor Webb and Yama. About to get that graded. It's anywhere from a $10,000, $20,000 uh, card. That's my biggest pull that I've had in a long time. Uh, you guys didn't hear, uh, join this video, hear, me, hear about me bragging. Um, okay, so the signature I uh, hear on the rookie. Again, there's no rookie card on it, which kind of sucks. I like when they put the RC on front of it, but it is a new breed. It's Derek Lively II, um, and that is a signature. So that wasn't terrible, right? I mean, he's playing pretty well. Um, so I'll definitely hold on to that one. Um, and then we got two left. So we got the full throttle Amen Thompson. This is a die cut. Um, it's not gold, right? It's just the die cut model of it. There's no number on it. And when, it, when I saw the gold up here, I'm like, oh my God, did I just pull like a one of 10? No, it's just die cut. And then really, I mean, the highlight for me, this whole case was a, we did pull a gold, a one of 10, um, Leonard Miller. If you guys can see that there, seven out of ten, Leonard Miller on the Wolves rookie card. Um, yeah, it was a six hundred dollar investment, not including tax. Will I buy again? No. What's your opinion on the product though? Because I'm like, has anybody bought a bunch of these and got some really cool rips on them? If so, let me know. Um, but yeah, I wasn't impressed. I just, I really wasn't. And there's so much good Panini stuff out there that I just can't see myself buying that one again. Sorry for the negative review, but I like to be honest with my viewers. I think there's so many amazing sets out there right now. For me, the Elite uh, is just not doing it. So thanks for checking it out. And um, don't forget about the giveaway. Like, subscribe, please. We just reached 10,000 subscribers. I've had the channel up for like a month. So happy about that. I love all you guys, all the comments, all the love coming my way. Um, these are really fun to do. Um, but, you know, when we do the big unboxings, right? Like when we did the uh, 10, let's say, uh, 10 NBA Prism hobby boxes. All right. That's like, you know, 10 grand uh, to rip that. So it gets costly, right? So any like, subscribe, it kind of helps the channel out a little bit. Anyway, that's the plug. I appreciate it, all of you. Uh, until the next one, have fun collecting out there. And yeah, have a good one.